Hi guys, so December 7th is almost here and we're going to the polls again and often it's characterized a lot of violence and aggression. Also people who perpetrate most of these behavior are people we call macho men. Mm -hmm. And today I have one macho man in the studio, Jude Gajipo, and uh, he's not going to cause any mayhem during the election, but rather has a campaign that is sort of trying to educate our people about peaceful elections, sorry. Uh, so, Jude, welcome. Thank you. So tell us a bit about this campaign you're running. So this campaign is dubbed Lift for Peace, and it was actually launched in 2016, and it was as a result of the fallacy um, about bodybuilders, you know, uh, causing mayhem during elections, and here and there, politicians, I'm hiring them mm -hmm. to pay them some I money. like the way you choose to be a fallacy. Is it really a fallacy? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, yeah. So most of the bodybuilders, are, some of them actually are very um, learned, mm -hmm. and some of them are well-educated, etc. Is is the little the the few ones who uh, probably don't have job opportunities, etc. Who um, engage in such um, activities, yeah. Good. So uh, what form or shape is the campaign taking? Okay, so now we are um, trying to sensitize the public and let the public know that um, the bodybuilders have unique, uh, unique abilities um, apart from the general perception about they going to cause um, havoc during general elections. We actually trained to compete. Um, myself, I've had the opportunity to compete on in international platforms. And some of us just, some people just exercise or work out and look big mm -hmm. to, to live good. I mean, just to wear clothes, etc. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so um, we are actually hosting a powerlifting championship on the 28th of November um, at Fit Trip Gym in Jowulu to bring together all the strong men powerlifters in Ghana mm -hmm. and to, to lift and let the public know that this is what we use our strength for. We don't use our strengths to um, bully others and etc. but we use our strengths to lift heavy weights. Good. Yeah. So on the 28th, right? Yeah. Uh, what, what, what should people expect and how can they get there? Um, Fit Tree Gym is, uh, you can't miss it, it's on the Joel um, M1 Highway. Mm -hmm. Um, it's next to Men's Gold. Yeah, um, on that day it's going to be really fun. We have a few ladies as well who are strong and they're going to be showing us um, how strong they are by lifting some weights. And there's huge strong guys in Ghana who are going to show um, what they've got. And they're going to really give us some entertainment. Cool. Yeah. And, and I like the fact that you uh, brought it home to say that there's a lot you can do because most of the time People ask the question, until we are mature, you are not then because if, if it's not an international competition, yeah. then there isn't so much to do, especially if you are a professional uh, sort of a bodybuilder. Uh, so what are some of the opportunities, using yourself as an example, that exist for people in that space? So there's so many opportunities. Um, number one, you can be a, a model. Mm -hmm. You can make money from being just being a model, mm -hmm. right? And that aside, for competitions, you can um, get the opportunity to travel outside Ghana mm -hmm. to have the international exposure and to do your um, competitions mm -hmm. and probably, because we represented Ghana on the bodybuilding platform. That's a different um, discipline. Mm -hmm. That's a different sport. There's powerlifting, there's weightlifting, and there's, um, there's strongman as well. Okay. Yeah. On the 28th, your program uh, sort of planned out. Do you yeah. have sponsors? What are some of the activities people will be doing and what are they taking home? Yes, the, the activities that will be rolling out are the um, squats, deadlifts, uh, tie flips and farmer's walk. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, we'll be giving the, the winner 2,000 Ghana CDs cash, um, the second place 1,005 CDs and then third place 1,000 CDs. And uh, we, we were lucky to have a few sponsors mm -hmm. to help support us uh, on this course. Uh, I'll name them. We have Holland Akoko, uh, Animal Feed and Deo Chicks. We have Contactum, 
we have um, Abel, we have Storm Energy Drink, we have um, Amaya Debra as a media partner, mm -hmm. we have GH1, and yeah, I hope I haven't forgotten any. Good. And I'll be competing on the day. So for those of you who haven't seen my new macho yet, it's a perfect place to come out and see it. Uh, so you're going to have winners, um, and this being an ultimate campaign, are you going to give the winners some sort of responsibility to also uh, sort of drum home the essence of the competition? Yeah, so actually anyone who is competing on the platform is going to be an, an ambassador for peace. So we are going to caution the guys and, you know, um, try to let them know that wherever they are, they must be able to establish peace where there's chaos. Mm -hmm. They should try and use their strength to be able to establish peace wherever there's, there's, there's chaos. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, it's a wrap. But before we do, let's have the last word from you. Uh, how if there are tickets, how people can buy and all of that. Um, yeah, it's free. It's an open space. Just come and watch. A fit trip gym. Yeah, there are gym sponsors as well. Fit trip gym. Just come and watch and support support us on the scores and let's have some fun. Great. And come and see me kick some ass. <laughs>